You're probably used to the best cars on the roads ending up in virtual games, but it now appears that cars are now moving from the virtual world to real tracks. Well, welcome to the future where fantasies are being made into reality. The British automaker McLaren reached out to the virtual gaming industry to move to the real world with the 2017 Vision Gran Turismo concept from Sony Interactive Entertainment. The result? The McLaren Solus GT. The vehicle is a magnificent realization of a concept automobile that before now could only be experienced digitally. The Solus GT, which is already a mainstay in the video game, is now set to be on various highways around the world by next year. So join us as we explore how the virtual reality car came to life, and what can you expect from it. When it comes to driving, the real G-Force and powerful engines, cars in the virtual universe are superior to those in the real world. With the incredible specs and unbelievable custom edits available in the games, it was only a matter of time before someone got inspired to create a real-life version. Stirred by the possibility of what could be, British car manufacturer McLaren pursued the idea of turning pixels into reality. They were backed by some well-off Gran Turismo sports video game players who expressed interest in driving an actual version of the Space Age McLaren Ultimate Vision Gran Turismo. Supercar producers are frequently willing to collaborate in this fashion with game producers and for a very good cause. Several Gran Turismo players may go on to purchase real-life versions of the cars depicted in the games they played when they were younger. McLaren's ambitions to create the track-only limited-edition vehicle, which drew its inspiration from the virtual game, was a huge flip from the usual, because incredible real race cars are inspirations for vehicles on the Gran Turismo video game series. Because the incredible car was originally only intended to exist in the virtual realm, the designers were free to use their ideas without being constrained by financial constraints and conventional production methods. After several months of painstaking effort, the Solus GT was finally unveiled by McLaren during the annual Monterey Car Week celebrations. Although not the first track-only hypercar for McLaren, it is unquestionably the most extreme. The mid-engined sports car is one of the strongest, quickest, and fastest McLarens ever, and the vehicle will be joining the McLaren F1, McLaren P1, McLaren Senna, McLaren Speedtail, and McLaren Elva as the sixth member of the McLaren Ultimate series. The Solus GT weighs less than a thousand kilograms with aerodynamic performance, including downforce of over 1,200 kilograms, and was engineered by utilizing the complete range of McLaren's experience and skills across the highest levels of motorsport, supercar, and hypercar development. The vehicle's design is unlike anything else in existence, and the essential idea is the same with the video game version, although there had to be some adaptations for the move from virtual to reality. At first sight, the Solus GT's wing looks like it belongs in a dream, and according to its makers, it is one of the car's most attractive features. The wings are obviously more than just a fashion statement. They contribute to the vehicle's rear downforce, enabling the Solus to produce up to 2,645 pounds of downforce. Its 18-inch forged aluminum wheels, which are center-locking in classic motorsport fashion, are encased in aerodynamic pods, making the vehicle not quite an open-wheeled hypercar. The aerodynamics is achieved not only by the wheels, but also with the fantastic wing, front splitter, and enormous underbody tunnels. But what should command your attention is the car's unique powertrain. In its most extreme vehicles, McLaren has long used a 3.8 or 4.0 liter turbocharged V8 engine. But in this vehicle, McLaren utilized a 5.2 liter V10, a Judd-derived engine block that has a red line of 10,000 RPM and, according to McLaren, can generate more than 840 PS and 650 Nm. The engine has a custom crank, intake and exhaust systems, gear-driven camshafts, and separate barrel-driven throttle bodies. With the Le Mans prototype spec 7-speed sequential gearbox that transfers engine power to the rear wheels, McLaren claims the car can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 2.5 seconds and reach a top speed of more than 322 km per hour. The engine and the gearbox are both made of aluminum and magnesium and feature straight-cut gears and a carbon fiber clutch. An air intake above the canopy feeds the ravenous V10 engine, and the induction sounds of the vehicle are superior. With all of this incredible constitution, of course, the Solus is not road legal, and compared to non-Formula 1 supercars, it will be faster than a 720S GT3X, Senna GTR, 
or P1 GTR around a track. According to McLaren, the track-focused suspension of the vehicle will offer the best results in the company's history of competing in motorsport. The Solus GT features a damper system, double wishbones inspired by F1, anti-roll bars, ride height springs, and four-way manually adjustable dampers. McLaren equipped the front and rear with carbon disc brakes and six-piston monoblock calipers to tame the beast. The radical shape of the GT was obviously developed as a component of the Vision Gran Turismo project, and it has an aircraft-style canopy, halo-style roll hoops, and a closed cockpit accessed by a striking sliding glass canopy. The enormous canopy slides open with the aid of a mechanical lever and some springs. Additionally, there's an escape hatch mechanism to help drivers get out of the vehicle if the canopy is unable to slide open normally. As a result of the automaker prioritizing speed, the interior design of the McLaren Solus GT's interior is pretty straightforward and convenient. Its interior includes a number of noteworthy elements, including a single seat. This contributes to the automobile seeming less like a car and more like a fighter jet, while also keeping the overall weight of the vehicle low. Despite being straightforward, the interior is quite technologically sophisticated. Its carbon fiber steering wheel, which has a TFT instrument display, has an adjustable pedal box. And unlike other McLaren models, the GT's steering wheel contains buttons. This was a must because the track car requires complete focus and it could be dangerous to make adjustments while traveling at 200 miles per hour. The car was intended to be an extreme manifestation of track driving engagement and will have an FIA homologated race suit, a helmet, and a unique head and neck support device, also known as Hans, in addition to a six-point race harness to keep them safe at the unfathomably high speeds that this beast is capable of. However, there were a few practical changes that have been made to make the car more comfortable to drive. Particularly of note is the seat, which differs from the prone position of the concept car and is instead a conventional seat that has been specially customized for the owner. Naturally, McLaren's Special Operations Group will participate in the process of the car's development, allowing owners to modify virtually every aspect of the Solus GT, including the color schemes. Prototypes of the vehicle will also be made available for future buyers to test drive. With all the customization options available, the Solus GT is estimated to cost more than two and a half million pounds. This is, of course, much more than the million game credits the virtual version costs, and only 25 of these sensational rides will be constructed. As you might have anticipated, they're all reserved already, and the projected costs could even go up based on the specifications of each buyer. The car is tentatively set to be released in 2023. However, the likelihood of spotting one in the wild is pretty unlikely, given that there are only 25 of them available worldwide, and none are homologated for usage on roads. Anyone interested in and unable to obtain the vehicle could go for its theoretical competitors, such as the Pagani Huayra R and even the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro. Its high-revving, naturally aspirated powertrain can also be compared to the Gordon Murray T50s. However, based on its concept alone, the Solus is a work of genius that is truly unmatched.